Hello there guys, it's me Unstable Voltage. Welcome back to episode 9 of Old World. I'm going to start by hitting the end turn button as I always do. I am just manoeuvring some of my army in position to attack the Danes. The Hittite party arrives in a show of splendour, uh, bedecked in purple and gold. They have arrived to offer Har Harapes Harapsky the judge as a potential bride for our son. Before the Hittites have a chance to dismount, a group from the angry Kassites charge in, shouting that Lamassin, Lamassana, the Lamassani, the younger, would be far more suitable. Neither side looks ready to stand down. Are either of these suitors suitable? So this is our son... Um, no, where are we? This is our son and heir. So who's the heir going to marry? A plus two charisma, plus two discipline... Or a plus two wisdom, plus two discipline. I'd sooner have the plus two wisdom. Whichever one we offend, we're basically... Um, whichever one we pick, we're going to offend the other one to the tune of minus 40. Um, the Kassites really dislike me anyway. Hattie, Hattie, Hattie is zero, so not too bothered. We're still at war with Egypt. How long have I been at war with Egypt now? Uh, so we want to go with the one with the Kassites. We want to keep the Kassites ha happy. It's not going to make a huge deal of difference, but we'll do what we can. We finally have a settler. Took bloody long enough. So we need to get this settler down to these cities. Might as well get the closest one first. Now, people will tell me I can force march down here and get the city set, city set up a lot more quickly. Yes, yes, I can. You are correct. But do I necessarily want to use all of that... Um, training to get everybody there probably not let's start moving forward with some of these units first i want to put myself in a position to deal with the danes because we'll be having another city over there and you can heal up and let's have a look at our worker so you've got the lumber mill there now it's suggesting a farm we don't have a huge amount of food coming in actually so i've got no problem with putting another farm in so let us go and do a tiny little bit of looking around with this boat and we found a barbarian camp well that is something that we'll need to deal with i think that might be on another land mass though so let's end the year there because we're out of orders you've got to remember when you force march a unit not only does it cost you 100 training to put the unit in force march but it also costs you two orders for every every movement so when you've only got like 20 orders that's only 13 movement possible really um recent events have shaken the confidence of this random duke third in line and cousin has lost some of his charm minus one charisma we are severely ill suffering from a high fever and constant shaking we're barely able to walk well that's not good right you need to get down here now i could consider doing the force march here um, and who do we want to please? Probably the Kassites. We could get some new range units here. We're not really going to have any camps. Well, there'll be some nets, but not many. But I think that's the one that'll, that we'll have. Not sure which tiles would be the most ideal. I guess this one gives us slightly more land. So let's give you to the hunters. There we go. You're fully healed. You need a worker. Now, if we are going to attack the Danes, we, we pretty much want to get on and start doing this with haste. So let's go ahead and get some units moved in. Now, I want to put you here because I want to try and be in a position where I can... Um, possibly finish off a unit in a single turn because we want to do this before our ruler dies so we need to declare war on the danes so declare war he loses some opinion happy days do i have enough damage here to take this unit out wow actually not I thought I might do. Right, you need to get out of here. Actually, we don't have any um, 
movement left. Well, if they attack the scout, they attack the scout. I'm not going to be too bothered by that. Yeah, we're out of orders completely now. And I've got two work. I've, I've got a settler and two workers doing nothing. Maybe I should have waited on that one a little bit. You've completed the treasury too. We could definitely do with a stone cutter. It will give us some... Um, it'll give us some science. It'll give us some civics. It'll give us some stone. Not exactly the best, but it'll do. Right, now that was a ranged attack, so at least it didn't actually die to our... Uh, die to the counter-attack. Okay, they're spoiling a lot of units now. Yeah, our time is near, so we really need to get this done quickly. Uh, let's... Well, we need you down here anyway, so let's go ahead and do that. Uh, let's sort out the fighting... Why would you go to those units first? These are all the units that don't have any enemies near them. Um, so yeah, you're going to do that and finish that off. That gets us to 9 of 10. We might not be able to get another one done before we die, but we'll try. Uh, we have unfortunately lost a... We have unfortunately lost one of our... Well, we've lost the scout, but we're not overly bothered by that. Um... I think I very much need to bring some more units in. You're not fully healed, but... And I could come up with this unit as well. I just think I need to dogpile units in. While I've got some orders left, let's try and get some things done here. So we'll get another um, one of those. So this is building the theatre. We still don't have enough civics to do what we want. Uh, before we do that, actually, what do we have as a spare commodity? We do have honey, and the Kassites want honey. The Kassites still dislike me, so let's send them honey. So that'll increase... Yeah, so they like me now, or at least they don't dislike me. Now, both of my workers, I could move them somewhere. I just can't really get them to do anything. You're going to go there. We're going to get another barracks. And you have finished the production of the gardener. Which is why we hit now have honey. Uh, so what could we get over here? Could get a rancher. I mean, these would certainly be good for us. These would give us some additional um, orders. So let's work on the ranchers. Hit end term. I've got a feeling we might lose a few units down here to the Danes. Because they've, they've got a lot of units. And these some of these units are pretty strong. Although they do tend to keep some of them towards the back. Yeah, I think we're going to lose this Axeman, actually. Following ambitions are now legacies. Yeah, so we've we've got to do that um, general mission now with this guy. I'm assuming he can be a general. Uh, gain a worker in Babylon. Uh, as a leader, all cities gain five gold per year per culture level. Uh, as a general, he has plus 10. Yeah, see, the general's nice. And all units get 5% versus infantry units. Oh, a one-off boost. No, I think we do this one. And then I think we need to put him in charge of one of these. Can we add a general over here? Yes, we can. So, you need to become a general. You get a promotion. Let's give you focus 2. Yeah, we're not going to be doing a lot of damage to these guys over here. That's the, the, the only problem. Well, that is one unit down. The chariots do a decent amount of damage. I can move you in here and hit from behind. I really need to get um, these guys upgraded to archers as soon as possible. Let's keep moving down towards the other city site with the settler. I do have a free war elephant somewhere and a camel archer. I mean, it'll just take me forever to get down there. Well, we'll start moving anyway. We might have an opportunity. So do I want to go ahead and keep building quarries? We don't have the... Yeah, we're really terrible in terms of... Um, culture... Uh, not culture, civics at the moment. Yeah, you were going to build a barracks there, so let's get the barracks. 
You've completed a mine. That is saying a farm, but I think another mine would be better. Because I'm relying pretty heavily on X-Men right now. There's not a huge amount that you can do. It's saying a farm there. Again, we're not we don't have a huge amount of um Yeah, you're gonna move there. We'll have to get the farm on the next turn because we don't have any orders left. You have finished festival two. And I think uh, we'll just get the rancher. Because that should give us the... Uh, was I right? Oh, no, it wasn't the rancher I wanted, was it? Let me uh, undo that. No, it's fine. We'll just leave it as it is. We'll get the rancher. I was thinking that that's the one that gives me... Because um, cause he's not on horses. It's on cattle. So it doesn't actually give me additional um, orders. But it is what it is. Okay, yeah, that's it. Spread, spread out your hate. Uh, this is our daughter and heir. Start a new ambition to spread religion times eight. Kill 15 military units. Enact eight laws. Um, spreading the religion times eight might be one that's more doable, actually. It sounds like it isn't, but I think it will be. Um, yeah, we could easily start off by getting the pearls there. All good money. There's some more stuff over there. Right, let's see what we can do about these ambitions. Well, one's a legacy now. Right, how much damage will you do? How much damage will you do? I'd sooner you move here. And then you can kind of attack both of them. Well, let's you do that. You do that. And then you can finish the unit off. Um, so we can gain swift... All lead again plus one fatigue limit. That'd be nice. Uh, upgrade steadfast. All units gain 10% against tribal units. Already has this promotion. Or upgrade his wisdom. So the plus one wisdom's nice. But all units gain plus one fatigue limit. Yeah, I think we're going to go for that one. So that's the ambition completed as well. Also, um, this is now a, a legacy. So you're Christian. We don't have a spy master yet. We'll get Portcullis in two years. So we need to appoint a new chancellor. Are any of these Christian? Uh, you're Babylonian pagan. So none of these are Christian. And this is going to be as our uh, Chancellor. I guess we can put you in. It's annoying because these things all end up costing me civics. I really need more civics. Uh, can we then convert your religion? No, because that's going to cost a stupid amount of civics as well. We're probably not going to get this one done, unfortunately. Uh, we do have some orders remaining, though. Now then, let's get you sorted. You want to put a farm in there? Fine. Let's do it. It still wants me to put a quarry over here. I'm not entirely certain that that is the best use for one. Um, yes, we want to keep moving down here with you. This city is currently idle. Uh, another mine? I mean, we can get lots of mines around here, actually. So yeah, let's dot some mines around. And, yeah, I really don't know what I'm going to do with you at this point. Let's go get some farms out over here. Uh, we do have two cities that are not doing anything. So this one has completed the worker. Now, we could build walls here. It's probably not a bad idea. We are kind of on the fringes. So let's go ahead and do that one. And you can get a Christian disciple, I think. Because we want to start spreading that religion and get that uh, ambition done. I think that one will be reasonably easy. At least I'm hoping it is. So obviously we're still getting attacked by the Danes a little bit. They are going to spawn a new unit in three turns. Kassite family has converted to Christianity. Well, that's good. This is our wife. She comes disappointed with us or we spend... Oh, I'm not, I'm not giving away seven orders and 700 gold. Not while we're at war. She'll just have to be disappointed. Um, yes, we want to be Chris, Christian, so that's fine. You're going to move down here. That is probably the best tile. 
that'd probably be better for the Kassites because there are going to be some nets there. They've got four cities. You've got two. You've only got one. Wow, you probably need that more than anything. Yeah, let's give that to you because the families at the moment... Yeah, mind you, you actually like me quite a lot. It's the, it's the Chaldeans that don't like me. Um, can we undo that? Yes, we can. Um... Yeah, actually, you'll give us um, upgraded ships, so that's not a bad idea. So a few little land masses around. You are going to get some farms. They're not going to be great for... Or should we get some forts? No, forts aren't all that useful, really. Uh, let's leave you there for now. We know about the barbarians. If we can weaken some of these units up, it'll be great. Critical hit on you. We can move in and attack you. You, I would prefer to back up a little. Because we've only got this one spot to take. And then we can put our armies to rest for a little bit. Um, these units, I think... We need to get some ranges, actually. We can promote. I mean, it might not be a bad idea. We do also now have uh, some spare dies. You guys want dies and you don't like me a lot. I'm actually going to give the dies to you. We will get some more dies, so don't worry too much about that. Uh, this city has produced the fisher, so we could go ahead and get another fisher here and get some more dies and trade it to another city. Or we could get another Christian disciple. Let's get the Christian disciple. We want to concentrate on doing those religious spreads. Um... And yeah, let's get the walls down here as well. So yeah, you're just going to stay here for now. Don't think I need to do anything. I mean, I could just bring you home, potentially. Yeah, let's just start bringing you home. We'll end the year. I don't think this one unit is going to kill anything, and he's not going to get any backup for two turns. So we should be okay. I mean, that hurt, but I think it's fine. People convert into Christianity. Uh, we've got Portcullis now. means we can get a Spy Master. The game is suggesting we get Sovereignty. So let's just go ahead and get that done. Now let's deal with the um, combat first. Because I always like that to get out of the way. I don't, I, I don't like to leave that until last. And then kind of forget about it. So we want to try and do as much damage here as possible. Not nearly as much damage there as I wanted to do. We may end up losing the chariot, but I think they're going to spawn another unit at the end of this turn, which will be really annoying, but there's not a great deal we can do about that. Let's get you here and heal up. We do have an event. So this is our daughter. So philosophy, because it's always the way I go. Never did bring that war elephant down there. I'm not entirely certain that it's worthwhile, but let's do it anyway. Um... Now, that's suggesting a quarry there. I guess there, there are adjacency bonuses, so it's not a bad idea. And this for you is suggesting the theatre. We can't get it on this turn because we're out of order. We, we we're not out of orders. We can get it on this turn. Cool. And then we've got uh, the rancher completed here. We could go ahead and get another Christian disciple. Because even if we run out of places to convert, it's worth building temples everywhere. So we definitely want to do that. Um... Yeah, so what are you, you are... You don't have a religion. You are Christian. We don't have a spy master. Could we get a Christian spy master? You're Babylonian pagan. You're Christian. You would cause some discontent. You reduce family opinion, but you are Christian. So that's my wife. She will give us some science and some extra orders, though. Can I put her in, though? Because I don't have any um, civics. Yeah, really need more civics. Otherwise, I just can't do anything. Let's go ahead and end the year. Got to get them civics buildings in. Yeah, they have spawned another unit, as expected. Okay, this is new queen of Carthage. Fine. Uh, Juda Judaism spreading to Babylon. Um, gain a Jewish disciple. 
Uh, oh no, I'm just going to take that civics boost actually, and then I'm going to put my wife in as spy master. I know I could be building a wonder, but let's. I, I think we've probably got more chance of winning on ambitions than we have on victory conditions, victory score, victory points, whatever they're called. So let's concentrate more on trying to do the ambitions, which means all we need to do is convert this guy. Convert him to Christianity. Yeah, we might be able to pull this one off. Fingers crossed that we can. Now then, um, units. You're now a warrior. Um, our soldiers take the local Danish chief captive and they force him before the throne in fetters. Head held high, he asks court to show mercy to spare his young son in exchange for his own life. Uh, so we can basically gain four legitimacy. We can gain one charisma and global two um, civics, which would be nice. And axemen, um, or Kassite axemen, gain 3% defense. Yeah, we'll take the charisma and the extra thingy. Thank you very much. Um, right, we need to move forwards because we need to kill that unit. Now, it's not actually in the camp right now. Oh, you've already attacked, haven't you? Um, you're going to move there and attack from there. You are going to back the heck off. Because we don't want you getting destroyed. So, I think we'll be fine. Spent a lot of orders now. I mean, I, it's suggesting a barracks there, which is not a bad idea. Don't have the stone for it, so might as well just go and get the quarry then. Two orders remaining. Uh, can't really reach anywhere in time. We can do this, I suppose. Get some more nets. And, well, that's it. We're out of orders again, aren't we? So let's hit end turn. This will be the last turn, I think, because, yeah, we're over the 20-minute mark again. So hopefully we'll be able to clean this camp out here. Uh, this is our daughter, age 12. She looks a heck of a lot older than 12. Uh, becomes eloquent and gains plus two... Well, as a governor, gains plus two um, civics per year per culture level. As a leader, all cities gain one civic per year per culture level. Or she can become extravagant... They're their weaknesses, so we, we want to take that one anyway. Uh, what is this one? Amulet of Fertility. Moments after your daughter's birth, one of the servants who assisted in the delivery approaches you. She presses a battered but bejeweled locket into your hand. It can be locked and unlocked with a tiny key. To remain fruitful, simply turn the key, she says, but to slow the seed, you must lock it. You don't know what to make of the woman's strange utterance, but the amulet does look valuable. I must get rid of this amulet at once. So that gives us plus three um, orders. Or the queen becomes suspicious. On, on both of these, the queen becomes suspicious. Or I would rather sell the trinket. No, let's sell the trinket. We don't need it. Uh, ambassador, let's upgrade your wisdom. You're the governor of Babylon. Um, yeah, let's give you Delver. That will give us an extra 17.5 iron and an extra 25 stone. Definitely doing that. Um, yeah, let's deal, let's deal with this unit here and finish it off. There we go. So that, I mean, obviously there are more Danes around on the map, but... We should get invaded less frequently now. Um, I, w I do want to have another little bit of a look around with this unit. I want to sort of see what's going on and un at least uncover the landmass that I'm standing on. Uh, you have completed that mine. I think we could certainly get another mine over here. We can't afford the necropolis. So yeah, let's get a mine. You need to heal. You're going to move down here and heal. Uh, we do now have a tradable honey. Um, do any of our... Right, you've got honey. So what about cities? How bad are things here? 
Uh, Uruk, how are things doing with you? You've still got some rubbish going on down here. Let's send you honey. So now you'll be in the positives again. Excellent. Uh, let us go down here and build the theatre. We've still got a decent amount of stone coming in, actually. It's not too bad at all. Um, we probably want to get a granary in here or something, and then we'll spam some farms around it. And, yeah, as for you, I really don't know what. The game loves to think I want to build a quarry here. Let's not build the quarry, but let's cut the trees and clear the land. And then we'll decide what we can put there on, a, on another turn. Uh, this city has finished its gardener, hence why we've got the honey. Uh, we could go ahead and get another Christian disciple. I mean, we do need them. So let's get a Christian disciple. Uh, Cad needs to choose production. Let's not bother with a Christian disciple here. And let's get another fisher because we can grab ourselves some more, um, some more dice. And yeah, that's all I can do on this turn. So I think that's probably a good point to end the video i should go ahead and send these uh, elephants this elephant back now um yeah i think that's some decent progress we can potentially finish this ambition because we're in the process of converting so you're christian you're christian and we're in the process of converting you so that'll be finished spreading the religion eight times i mean that was going to be a little bit more difficult because i've only got currently eight cities um I'm about to get a not well I'm not about to get a ninth I need a settler for that one actually and some of these cities are already Christian so that one is so we've got one that one is that one is that one is so is that one two three four I'll only have four of my own cities that I can spread it to but I can try and spread it to others if I make it across the water which I really need to do um so yeah we'll figure that one out in another video so thanks a lot for watching i hope you are still enjoying this series if you are please do consider leaving a like and thank you for all of those leaving your comments they really are helpful when i miss stuff because hopefully i can go back through and sort them out uh, if you're new to the channel please do consider subscribing i will see you next time and until then goodbye for now